Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here from Heinen's Grocery Stores, and I'm getting ready to show you how to make an amazing homemade macaroni and cheese. We're going to start off this recipe by boiling up some noodles, and Heinen's has such a fantastic selection of pasta, from gluten-free to vegan to regular. I'm going to be using Little Italy in the Bronx Tuscan Wheat Farfalli. That's right, you do not need to use regular macaroni noodles. Let's have some fun and use bow ties. So we're going to boil it just until al dente. We're going to take it out, strain it, run it under some cold water and keep it cool. Next, I'm going to add some unsalted butter to a large rondeau pot with some onions, garlic. We're just going to stir these over medium heat. We want to get a very light brown on these. No need for a full caramelization. And now we need to make a roux. So add in some flour, mix it in until it is completely combined. And the next thing we're going to do is add in some whole milk. Yes, you could use 2%. We're going to turn the heat up to medium high and we're going to cook it for four to six minutes or until it becomes very thick like you see here. Now we're going to add in some cheese. I've got some sharp cheddar, a little bit of white cheddar, and the last is totally up to you. It's just a little added bonus, some smoked Gouda for some awesome additional flavors. Mix this in until the sauce is nice and smooth. Go ahead and add in now some salt and fresh cracked black pepper. You could also add in some cayenne and Tabasco sauce too if you'd like. Mix it in and now grab those cool noodles, add them in, and then again mix them in until they are completely combined. At this point, we are going to transfer this goodness right over to a casserole pan, get it all in there, flatten it out a little bit, and then next one I'm going to do is set it to the side and make a delicious topping. So in a bowl with some melted unsalted butter, I'm going to add in some panko crumbs, mix them until just moistened. We're going to set those to the side, bring out our macaroni and cheese, top off with a little additional sharp cheddar. We're going to add on that panko breadcrumb topping, going to add some delicious crunch to this recipe. Now we're baking at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Such a delicious homemade macaroni and cheese recipe. I know you're going to love this.